Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I've been working on the car a lot. And uh, I'm, I'm flying a little. My buddy's in town who taught me how to actually fly helis and stuff. We did fly it today a little. But um, I've been working on the car so that I can have good transportation and enjoy the summer. Mostly so I can go mountain biking, hiking. And that would involve some nice... Uh, FPV flying. Oh, you hear that? That must be Baghdad Bob over there. <laughs> There's some dudes just going for it with rifles. Alright, so... Uh, there's this awesome guy on YouTube who had a very unfortunate thing happen to his Volkswagen. Because as you know, we don't just own these things like people own Camrys and Priuses. We own these things because we live and breathe it. And he had a beautifully built show car that he spent hard time on and it caught on fire, which is a bummer. Um, and he has a cool YouTube channel called Pinchy Al's Garage. So if you go to that, you could see his thing. And he's got a donation page in case you guys love dubs and you want to help out a fellow dubber. But I wanted to run you through mine. Uh, it's an O2 with 220,000 miles and it's nearly perfect on the body. The only bad part of it is here. I had a little thing happen with the Jack, the famous Widowmaker by Volkswagen. So I was lucky enough to get these OptiWorks side skirts and frankly I hate non OEM stuff and boy these do the job man I mean and like I said it hides the dent I'm gonna touch that up with a little paint but basically for the money 150 that took care of it um, this is the rig I'll give you a, it's got so many mods um, next mod is gonna be we're gonna fix the interior so I'm going to get both seats reupholstered. Probably going to do the centers. Navy blue. It's in winter mode now in the sense that it's higher in the suspension. And it hasn't even been detailed in any way. Like no wipe down or anything. I vacuumed it. I mean, like I said, I haven't washed it yet. I'm working on mechanical stuff. And then usually once I'm pleased with that, is when I'll uh, I'll uh, start to detail. So I'm like a day or two from really massaging the appearance. It's got a black painted roof. It's got a Phaeton antenna. Oh, it's got the basic 1.8 T mod again. It's dirty. This a little wet rag does a lot on motor dust. Um, basic air intake, turbo and lead pipe, various silicone boost hoses. Um, I'm still lacking the throttle body hose, but I do have a couple silicone ones down below. The hellish sealess headlamps. The European bumpers, OEM ones, not Wenzel. Front and rear. VR6. Uh, valences. I just spent some damn good money on OEM crap, which should be these uh, the splash shields, which everybody usually misses. So I've got the right splash shield, the left splash shield down there, and then the center one, of course, the belly pan. So, and I was working on this switcher. If you see this gold switch, that's a high pressure switch. Below that is a banjo bolt fitting. I had a leak with it. Replaced the banjo bolt and the washers. Right now I'm okay. Been monitoring it down there. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty straight. It's rare to get old cars that are straight. I apologize for the running board, but it's it's the jack. It's an easy fix. I just 
I don't really want to mess with body work until I'm lucky enough to paint the car. So this is just going to live like that. Now, lucky me, the guy who owns the local body shop, he wants to learn how to fly drones, which that is just great because I want to learn how to use the stud gun. So there might be some mutual uh, things here and actually would probably fix that running board. Anyways, I fastened the side skirts on with double face tape and the screw using the OEM location. So basically it's actually easy to take them off and have no residual. But I love the way they look. Really, for those that don't have the 20th anniversary and the 337 kits, I mean, check out the, it matches perfect. Now I haven't even wiped up the spoilers. Yeah, these cars still have good lines. It's pretty, uh, it's really incredible as they get on in, in generations to see. And boy, it's no Mark I or two, but you know, the Mark IV front end, it's got those cat eyes. That's, it's pretty nice. I quite, I really, the roundness. I love the Mark IV look. Uh, plus, it's so hard to daily a Mark I and two that, I capitulated that a Mark IV is going to be my old Volkswagen, unfortunately. I can't drive nothing older. Can't, can't build one. I can only daily one. So, I don't know. I put a leather steering wheel in it. It's got your basic double den, Lupo shift knobs, parking brake matching. Like I said, we're going to keep black tweed on the seats with really really deep navy blue on the centers and once we bring that to a nice package we may powder coat the wheels a really dark navy blue that's really all you can do without shaving it bagging it painting it and that's 15 grand later uh, that's my stereo setup I've always wanted a small stereo setup I put my mountain bike you know I have a whip it this is her little travel bed she chills back here when we ride um, and it's got all my awesome little trinkets that's some transporter by VW some smurf sunnin um, this cool concept van by VW and of course, what is it, the RS6. Yeah, you know, you gotta have a little flare. It's like the office space. I mean, sure, you got flare. It's just how much flare do you want? Anyways, that's the rig, you guys. Um, the ocean taillights. I remember I, I bought these taillights when I was in Leipzig, Germany. Um, the guy at the parts counter, he was wearing a three-piece suit. I've never seen that before. And uh, yeah, there you go. There's your rear Euro bumpers with a long tub. There's a super sprint exhaust for a Seat Leon. I mean, this thing just basically hisses and drips of OEM venom from the fangs. It's nothing mean. I mean, I see the shit on YouTube that's just out of this world. Oh, last treat full black upper from an r32 thanks to underground vw parts that really cutens up anybody's boring minivan interior so that's why you know with a wipe down a nice seat combo i don't have a back seat so it makes it super simple it's a very functional very fast for for what it is, it really makes high averages of long road trips in the mountains. Um, what is it? It's on KW V2s. It's got TT front brakes. Uh, they're Autotech Sport Tune rotors. They have the black, uh, the black anodized hat on them, so you don't get the rusty look. That's pretty handy. I apologize for the 
stock rear brakes, but those also have the black hat and there's the ECS spacer in there. Uh, running Mintex red box pads. The awesomest sticker, of course. I'm not too big on stickers, but that's my bike shop, Absolute Bikes and Salida. This and the 911 thing right here. Um, Yeah, no, it's a looker, you guys. I mean, I've owned it since day one. So, picked it up at the dealer. Had like three miles on it. And I asked that they didn't PDI it or detail it until I could get there, which was the case. And my buddy who worked there PDI'd it for me, with me. So I truly got the... It was the... That was my Euro delivery experience. Wow. If you like Golf GTIs, this is a pretty decent one. Sure, it needs a full going over, but I mean, that just takes... Uh, it's hard to do when you daily drive a car to, to restore it, really. There's something about that that you just can only do so much till it goes up on block and you have 10 grand and a year and a half in a garage and toys and friends and tools tools a lot that's that S4 stance the roads in Colorado are very bad <laughs> I took the mud flaps off because I have to notch them to fit with a side skirt, but I was running mud flaps and I kind of like that. I'm going to try to incorporate him in there. He's going to give him kind of an all road feel to the car. I do love the look of the mud flap, how it hides some of the, the fat wheel thing sticking out. It really, the mud flaps in the rear look super sick on these cars. So I'm going to make the front ones fit, then I'll re all the rears boring if you love golf you can't get enough of this video if not so be it pinchy al you've motivated me to bring the car back to life that is why i wish you would help me install a new motor and transmission in it when the time comes which from the sounds of it is not anytime soon it's running really good Bye.